Hello, it's been a while since I made a video. I wanted to let everyone know what I was doing with the hive this year. So I've just gotten a new package of bees this spring. I've had them about a week now. The queen has already been released into the hive and she's going around doing her thing. This is a 3D printed hive that I made and I have links in the description to the files if you wish to print a hive like this. This is the tube where they come in through the window and enter the hive. This is a shot outside the window where they're landing on a little pad that goes into the window and they're having a hard time landing right now. It's really windy outside so they're they're struggling to land on the pad. If you haven't seen the, the videos from last year, there's links in the description for, from where I started to all the way up to where I harvested the honey. Uh, my queen last year, she died for some reason, and uh, I, I didn't have any bees through the winter, so I've just started over this spring. This is a shot from the outside. I've got a small opening there where they enter the tube. I've heard that they can defend a small opening a lot better than they can a, a large one. So I've just got a small opening there. We're going to see how, how well that works. They don't seem to be having any problem going in and out of it right now. And that's where they come into the tube and enter up into the observation hive. I've kind of redesigned the, the hive this year. I've got my flow hive right up against the observation hive. I had it connected with a tube last year, and they didn't want to go into the tube to go to it. So I thought if I put it up against it, maybe that would work better this year. We're going to see. They haven't started going in it yet, but hopefully that will change once they start filling up the observation hive. But right now you can see there's there's no activity inside the flow hive. If you're not familiar with what a flow hive is, um, there's some previous videos that I've made that explains that more. And that bottle on the top is my sugar water that I'm feeding them with. And here's a shot of my queen. Can you see her? She's the one with a really long body. And that's her right there. Hopefully I'll have better success this year than I did last year. Because last year, right near the end of the summer, um, my queen quit laying eggs and I, I never saw her again. And so I think something happened to her because the bees didn't leave, but they, they just gradually died off towards the end of the summer. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video and thanks for watching.